ultimate goal is to be lifelong learners and to um, think of math, science, STEM, English, social studies, everything is related. And so you find something that you are really interested in and you just put it all together. involved in everyday life and I think school in general should gear more toward just trying to create an individual who's aware. Science and math is in everyday life, you just can't get away from it. Whether you're at the grocery store, you're outside sun tanning, whatever, you know, um, it's just involved in everyday life so it's so important that they're aware of it and aware that what we can utilize the sun for and you know how we can incorporate that into our everyday lives. The kids have really enjoyed it and they don't think of it as, it's, as school because they really are engaged and they don't feel threatened by the math or the science and you can see them charting it in their journals and they're like, oh that's cool, oh well it didn't get as hot as I thought it would and um, I can't believe it melted at 120 degrees, so it's, it's really neat. I'm so impressed with how the kids are able to retain so much information. I mean, the stuff that they are picking up going from nine different stations and they're coming back to us and they don't leave out any details. They just know it all. And I mean, we're talking about scientific terms that I probably didn't learn Charles in high school. So it's just been super impressive and that's been the most like rewarding thing ever. We've been learning um, hydroponics and about all the different stuff that you can do with different things like you get white bees and when you go outside they turn different colors or get a pizza box and make it into an oven and make s'mores and like lots of different things. It's been fun the past couple weeks because we got to meet new people, get new friends. Ah!